Thank you, Sister Emma. Well, brethren, I'm still believing. I'm still keeping the faith. I'm still holding on to God. It's not that, it's not that uh, I'm still believing because of my own power. But you see, he held me. He didn't let me go. You know, the enemy's tried to pull me out of his hand. He's tried to pull many of you out of his hand. But he hasn't been able to. Amen. Every time the enemy's failed, he's failed to take you out of the hand of God. Amen. We believe him. We're still believing. Amen. See, I, I encountered more opposition from the forces of darkness over the past two years being with the brethren than I ever have in my life so far. I've had thoughts that I haven't had in years would just come up. I've had situations arise, even among the brethren, where the, the enemy has tried to sow discord. The enemy has tried to, 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 to find any area that he could get in and, and take me down. But, but brethren, I'm still standing. I'm still standing before you here today. So I wanted to testify the Lord's goodness and his mercy to me. You know, it's always good to testify what the Lord has done for us. There's never, like, there's never, a, there's never an inappropriate time to say the Lord is good. So it's, there's a lot for me to testify about today. But I, I really wanted to boil it down to some key points of what he's done for me over the past few years since I've been here. He's restored many of the years that the locusts have eaten up. You know, there was a time when I walked according to the spirit or the power of the air. I walked in disobedience. I was at enmity with God. And during that time, I wasted. I wasted time. I wasted time that I could have been serving God, that I could have been seeking after the truth. And there was an evening where it was really pressing on my mind that, man, I wasted I wasted time that was given to me. But you see, the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart if you seek after him. So I asked him, Lord, restore to me the years that the locusts eat. So through the SoundCloud ministry, through the ministry of the, of the Holy Spirit and the brethren, he's given to me years and years of preaching and teaching and, 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 uh, and, and exhortation and ministry that the saints have labored uh, through all the different various ministries. He's enlarged my understanding. He's given me to see things about the kingdom. Well, it's just, it's just wonderful. He's given me a satisfaction, a deep satisfaction in knowing his son, Jesus Christ. And he's given me a living hope in the salvation of our God. You see, if, if you lay your head down on the pillow at night and you're not satisfied, that's a bad spot for you to be in. It's a bad spot for you to not be reconciled to God, but he's reconciled me unto himself. He's establishing me in the faith, and I am becoming rooted and grounded in Christ. He's given me trials, uh, circumstances, and situations in which they're trying my faith and testing my faith, and they're producing fruit. He's blessed me with a good job, and he's continuing to provide for my every need. Now, I know that having financial success and, and, uh, and, 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 and having temporal things, is, it, it's, it's a nice thing. But I'm just, I just want to say that the Lord's been merciful to me. That he, since I've, I'd like to go on record, actually, right now and say, since I followed the Lord, I have never suffered lack. I have never suffered lack. I've always had everything that I've needed to do the work that he's given me and, 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 and above and beyond that. I know that there's brethren in the world right now that are suffering persecution. They're, they're suffering hunger. They're, 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 uh, they're mocked. Some of them are beaten and imprisoned. Now, I haven't had to go through that. And, and uh, the, the Lord's been really good to me. He's, he's provided me with kingdom work. He's, uh, he's, he's really, he's given me a love to, to want to write the things down that I see. And so I, over the past few years I've been writing and it's, it's, uh, 
it's a satisfying work. It's not a work. This he's, he doesn't give you work that's that's a that's a burden. These are these are works that we we like to do. He's blessed me with a family that loves the Lord, a wife that is a fellow heir, children that are well behaved and obedient. And I do not take these things for granted, brethren. They are they are stabilizing influences that the Lord has given me. You know, He's put me. He's put me in a, in, a, in a position in the workplace where I have favor among men, and he set me in a key position to be an effective witness for the gospel, for the truth. You know, when I first started working at this metals warehouse, there were a few people that were, they were, they were against me. They were my enemies. But the Lord put me in situations where they needed my help, where they had no choice but to have my help given to them and I, the flesh doesn't want to be in a, in a situation like that but he's he set me in these key positions in order for me to be be able to minister the gospel to people not just in word only he hasn't just he hasn't just opened up open up doors and opportunities in word only but also in deed too and i've saw that the lord can turn minds several of these uh Several of these people that were giving me a hard time, one of them was working there for almost 10 years. He was getting ready to move up, and one day he decided, you know what? I'm not going to work here anymore. And he walked out the door. Now, see, the Lord can do that. If there's somebody that's getting in the way of the work that he has you to do, he can just turn their mind. I wanted to testify of that. He's added unto me brethren, fellow soldiers, tender hearted companions true friends Amen. true family that not only love the truth and love God but love me too Amen. they've 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 bore up under my burden they've come up to me at times it was the most difficult and they put their arm around me and they said don't give up don't give up br brother keep the faith keep believing I like to testify that I'm believing because God's held me in his hand and because the brethren are faithful. Amen. They're faithful to love me. Right. He's delivered me. The Lord's a deliverer. Yeah. He's delivered me from sickness, from injury, and from desperate situations. But he's also taught me in the same sickness, in the same injury, and in the same desperate situations. He's taught me things. There's things that you can learn, brethren, in the room of infirmity that you can't learn anywhere else. And so I trust the Lord. I trust that whatever the Lord's doing, He's got all things under His feet. He's, he's in, there's nothing that happens that Jesus hasn't given the okay for, that He hasn't, ordained, that he hasn't preordained, that He isn't forming. So I know if it was up to me, I would already mess this thing up. But it's not up to me. And that's why I trust the Lord.